Let's solve some trigonometric equations on the integral from 0 to 2 pi, but not including 2 pi. So for example, let's say we have the sine of 2 theta, and this equals the cosine of theta. So the first thing I'll do is expand out the sine of 2 theta as 2 sine theta cosine theta. And then bring the cosine theta to the left side so that I can set this equal to 0. So now we can factor. So out of both terms, I can pull a cosine of theta out. So setting each factor to 0, we have cosine of theta is 0. Or the sine of theta, I'm just solving this, would be 1 half. Okay, so in one revolution of the unit circle, 0 to 2 pi. For cosine of theta, I'm looking for where the x-coordinate is 0, so that's going to be at the top and the bottom. So pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. To find where sine of theta is 1 half, that's where the y-coordinate is 1 half. So we have pi over 6 and 7 pi over 6. Let's look at another one. Uh, let's say this time it's the cosine of 2 theta. And this equals cosine of theta. So again, expanding this out, this time we have a cosine, so we have three options. Because the right sign is cosine, I'm going to use the one involving just cosine. So that's going to be our 2 cosine squared theta minus 1. And then do the exact same thing we did in part A, bring the cosine of theta over to one side so that we can factor it. So I'm going to rearrange the terms to keep everything in a quadratic form. So minus that cosine of theta. So now we can factor. So to get 2 cosine squared theta, it's got to be 2 cosine theta times cosine theta. To get the negative 1, it's got to be a 1 and a 1. One of them has to be negative. To get a negative cosine theta in the middle, the 2 cosine theta has to get multiplied by the negative. So I'm looking for where the cosine of theta is negative 1 half and where the cosine of theta is 1. So within one revolution of the unit circle, 0 to 2 pi. Cosine of the x-coordinate, so where the x is negative 1 half, which is 2 pi over 3, and 4 pi over 3. And also where the x-coordinate is 1, which can be considered as 0 or 2 pi, but based on the restriction, we're not including 2 pi, so it can only be 0. One more, let's say the cosine of 2 theta plus 6 sine squared theta, and this equals 4. Once again, I have three options of how to change cosine of 2 theta, or how to expand that out. But based on the other part of the equation, I should use the one involving the sine. So I'm going to use the one that's 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. Cleaning this up a little bit, I would have 4 sine squared theta on one side, and then if I subtract the 1, I get a 3 on the other. Still solving for the sine squared of theta, I would get 3 fourths, which means that the sine of theta, plus or minus, the square root of 3 fourths, or plus or minus square root of 3 over 2. So we're going to have 4 answers. So I'm looking for where the y-coordinate is plus or minus square root of 3 over 2, which are at our thirds. So pi over 3, 2 pi over 3, 4 pi over 3, and 5 pi over 3. 